if I could somehow make you stop for a second or two and take stock and ask, what is the one thing that I keep doing? And how can I go about changing that? Because as the saying goes, nothing ever goes away until it teaches us what we need to know. So picture, if you will, you're a lion. And it's early morning in the savannah, and you have a rumbling tummy. Maybe you've got a few cups biting at your tail saying, Mama, feed me. They're hardly going to wake up going, Dear Mama, would you like some breakfast? They're going to express themselves in a Give me some food, lady. So there you are. And there's a herd of wildebeest. Does that remind you of something? An enormous amount of prey that we can devour. Putsi, gold, euro, dollar, euro, yen, dollar, yen, DAX, NASDAQ, you name it. It's all there. But what does the lioness do? Do you think it starts running after the first one and then the second one? Oh, that didn't work out. Let him run after something else because I sure as hell can't have a calm mind. I need to chase something. No, and you know it doesn't. Because see, for the lioness, it is also faced with the prospect of that one of those things, as delicious as a breakfast buffet it makes for a lioness, could also mean that the lioness itself becomes the victim. Which, again, only cements the bridge of the analogy of what it is you and I are trying to do in trading. We might be dead certain that the DAX is going to go up today, but it could go down. It could fall. And taking our account with it. Does that remind you of something? Of the impulses that are meet, that, are, that meets us in the morning when we turn on our trading account? Hundreds and hundreds of products flashing, enticing us like a siren call. Trade me, trade me, come to me. Don't do Bitcoin today, do the DAX. Luring lamps, news flashing down on the side. But what you're not aware of is what it does to our minds. That dopamine infused mind calls you to action. Going, I gotta do something. You're wired up. You're stoked. Gotta get into action, man. I can't just sit on the sideline. Don't make money on the sideline. Bulls make money. Bears make money. Pigs, they'll make nothing. You gotta get in there. At least that's what our minds are telling us. Can't just sit patiently and wait. Which is exactly the wrong thing to do. Because what happens up in our minds is that we're going to get a dopamine spike, a epinephrine spike, adrenaline. The problem with these hormones is that that's not an infinite supply. Yes, our minds produce it all the time, but it's not a never-ending supply. See, once you've had a dopamine spike, your mind has to calm down again. You're like a, an addict. Dopamine spikes. Dopamine goes back down again. But your mind is thinking, it was a hell of a lot of fun when I was up here. I like being up here, and now I'm down here. So what happens if you're having a good time and then you're not having a good time? What does your mind tell you to do? Hey, I want to chase the good times again. So now you're chasing the market. You're chasing something, anything, just to relive that, that euphoria, that spike of dopamine that you had before. But the thing about dopamine is that not only will it come down to what we call the base level, 
it's like a pendulum. And if you swing a pendulum up here, it doesn't just stop here, does it? Oh, no. It goes this way as well. So if you ever had an euphoric high, you let go. You come back down to the baseline, but you will inevitably always feel a little lower than you did before. Before the market, sorry, not the market. Before the human mind and the body catches up and you establish the equilibrium we call the base, baseline. 